Thank you very much. Michigan's Governor Rick Snyder signing a bill allowing mandatory drug tests for welfare recipients suspected of using illegal drugs. Opponents of the program say it will only promote stereotypes of poor people. Here to debate former drug czar John Walters and from the Drug Policy Alliance, Sharda Sekaran. All right, Sharda, I want to start with you. Uh, you know, this is taxpayer money, obviously. It's, it's a lot of money, and, and the abuse, if someone is on drugs, the likelihood of them ever getting off of these sort of social programs becomes diminished significantly. So why isn't this a good idea? Well, people who are recipients of public assistance and poor people are no more likely to use drugs than any other portion of the population. This is unfairly targeting people who are already vulnerable in Michigan. I was actually born in the state of Michigan. My grandfather worked for GM for 30 years. And I know from personal experience, I had rough times with my family. We were on public assistance. What people need in Michigan are jobs. Rick Snyder should be focusing on that, on his economy, instead of sifting through the urine of his constituents. It's just unfair. You know, John, a lot of people would say that this is an economic issue, however, certainly taxpayers would like to see the money going to something that's smart. These programs initially were designed as a temporary program to help people out, get them back on their feet. If you're a drug addict on any of these programs, it's unlikely they'll ever get back on your feet. Yeah, who's going to employ somebody who's addicted? Again, this is an experiment in three counties in Michigan. It's a it's an effort to try to take adults who have re, they have reason to believe are substance dependent and get them testing get them tested if necessary get them into treatment get them back on their feet. Why do you want to use public assistance to enable continued addiction? What sense does that make? These are people who advocate against programs that are that make that they have positions that make no common sense. You wouldn't advocate this for your family, for your sister, for your children. Why on earth would you want the government to be providing the money for people to continue to be addicted? Right. There, there's no doubt we would all want intervention. And let me share with the audience just some of the points from the program. First of all, it's a one-year pilot program that's going to be in three counties. Uh, the recipients will be required to take uh, the substance abuse test if they're suspected of drug use. A positive test, they get referrals to treatment centers. So these treatment programs, it seems to me that that's something that's somewhat inviting, uh, Chandra. I don't see where that's necessarily unfair to someone who is on public assistance. In fact, it feels like an extra hand trying to help them out of this situation. Well, let's be clear. What drug tests often look for is what they find is marijuana, which stays in your system longer than other drugs. It's not something that's going to find people who need help. It's actually probably going to trap people who are recreationally or for medical purposes potentially using marijuana, which is something the majority of Americans think should be legal and is now legal in many states or several states. And we have medical marijuana available in more than 22 states. So Americans are growing to have a consensus that recreational marijuana and medical marijuana is not something that's... Yeah people should be stigmatized for. Well, you know, I think we're starting to uh, uh, layer this on with uh, additional areas. By the way, the majority of people don't like paying their taxes, but we better do that too. John, I'll give you the last word. Well, uh, she, she's kind of living in the last century. Uh, uh, the vast majority of people who need drug treatment are dependent on marijuana, despite the public attitude change. It's the single biggest cause of treatment need, and nobody who's addicted is going to get on with their life. It's going to help their family. We do this for employees at regular workplaces with employee assistance program, allow referral to treatment. Why wouldn't we want to do that to the people who are in the most need? It just makes no sense to have the government be the funder of addiction, and I think that's this is an effort to try to overcome that and get people people back on their feet. Look, Michigan's in a lot of bad shape. Yeah. I was born in Detroit. It's not going to get better by the government funding drug addiction. We have one yeah. thing in common. We both have Michigan roots. But I don't know if and, I'm in the last century well, when you're voting me for madness. I think you both have in common <laughs> that you want good things, maybe just in a different direction. Although we should point out uh, more and more uh, employers or would-be employers are also giving these drug tests. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. Coming up, Thank you. new information coming in about the passengers aboard that missing Air Asia flight. Who was on the plane and just how difficult will this search be?